are Makilala TV, the first Filipino-American TV talk show in the New York metro area. Get to know us as we talk to the community leaders, innovators, advocates, and emerging artists who affect Filipino-American life. For 18 years, Fiesta in America has been the biggest indoor summer event for Filipinos across the Northeast. It began as a trade show, but it is now much bigger than that. It is a musical concert with big name celebrities, a Santa Cruzan, it has a large food court, it has hundreds of thousands of Filipino and Asian businesses selling everything from chinelas to Chinese herbs to real estate to cars. It has the feel of a town fiesta which is very lively and colorful and loud, and it has the commercial potential of a shopping mall. Where can you find something like that? Fiesta in America will celebrate its 18th anniversary on August 13 and 14 at the Meadowlands Expo Center in Secaucus, New Jersey. For the last 17 years, it's been attracting hundreds of thousands of Filipino-American families and also Asian families as the biggest indoor cultural expo of its kind on the East Coast. We are so intrigued by Fiesta's long-running success that we decided to invite the event's producers to tell us their story. Joining us today is Fernando Mendez. Mm -hmm. We all know him as Nanding. He is the founder, president, and CEO of Fiesta in America. With him is Len Manansala, Hi. vice president for marketing and communications. Thank you for joining us, Nanding and Len. Salamat. And welcome to Makilala. First off, congratulations on your 18th year milestone. Thank you. Thank you. I, I didn't know that Fiesta was first started in New York at Jacob Javits. Can you tell us a little bit about your history? Yeah, when we started this, uh, we thought uh, we can do well in Jacob Javits. Mm -hmm. Center. It was so nice and we filled uh, the, the, the event with about 5,000 people. Oh, that's a good start still. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, we invited a lot of celebrities. And of course, it came with price. Which and is? And that's a lot of uh, investments. It's, uh, in, it's, it's in New York, of course. Uh, yeah, of <laughs> course, yeah. yeah. Parking alone yeah, was $50. Yeah. Yeah. This year, right? oh, okay. And then uh, <clears throat> we held it for two days. And there are many supports uh -huh. uh, during that time. And then we realized uh, we had to we have a long way to go. Mm -hmm. We would like to um, do better in the long term. So we decided to bring it back to Meadowlands Expo Center. You, so bring, you brought it to Meadowlands on the second year? Second on year. On the yeah. second year, yeah. Right, right. So since then, it's been... It's been there, you know. We, wow. we tried other venues like the, the Coliseum on 69th, which is now... Uh, That's also in New York, Columbus, right? yeah, Columbus. Yeah. What, what year was that? When you had it at Columbus? Um, to, I think 2000, 1990s, uh, oh, okay. late 1990s. Okay, yeah. So we tried many, many venues mm -hmm. and uh, we found a home in Medellin's Expo Center where people will have a lot of time. They don't, they don't get charged mm -hmm. uh, for the parking. Oh. Parking alone is about $40, $50. Yeah, yeah. But in Medellin's, it's free. Yeah. And, you know, we have more room to play with. 61,000 square feet, and we are we're trying to fill it up with people. That's right. And we, like, we are inviting many, many organizations mm -hmm. to be part of this and, and let them have their own fundraising mm -hmm. events there. They use our event to, to make their uh, organizations be known to people to who network. are to network, yeah. remingle. And it's also, it was, Fiesta was created to just invite as many Filipinas as we can mm -hmm. and just have fun. And that's the objective of Fiesta anyway. Yeah. You so probably have a good formula because for 18 years now, it's still going strong. And um, so Len, what, what do you want to add? Um, aside from the, the thousands of Filipinos mm -hmm. now, Event yeah. Let's remember that according to the US SBA, yeah, I was about to ask you about that. Okay. The average lifespan of small business in America is just five years. 
Do you consider Fiesta small business? Well, kokonti lang naman ang, ang, ang empleyado, but mm -hmm. ang marami kami volunteers. Mm -hmm. Actually, still small business, mm -hmm. but we're growing. Remember, five years ng small business ng uh, average na US, kami 18 years. Yeah. Kaya dun mo masusukat yung success din namin. Eh. Yeah. Aside from uh, yung mga thousands and thousands of visitors, dumadami ang aming exporters and sponsors. And exhibitors. And too. exhibitors. Uh -huh, yeah. uh, sa Pilipinas, for example. Isa sa mga mission ng Fiesta in America is to promote small and medium-sized exporters. Mm -hmm. uh, mga gumagawa ng handicraft, mga gumagawa ng apparel. And these are all Philippine-based companies? Philippine-based. Okay. But marami din kaming mga exporters and sponsors who are mainstream companies. Mm -hmm. uh, the leading telecoms, the leading uh, HMOs, for example. Kasi they realize that the Filipino market is so huge and that, that Filipinos in New York and New Jersey have median family incomes of more than 92,000. Rochelle, you were, tell, you were telling us about your experience as a fiesta baby and yes. that you used to go there with your entire family. Yeah. Tell us so, about that. <laughs> it's really funny because I felt like I grew up with fiesta, except back then I used to refer to it as Philippine fiesta. Mm -hmm. um, so when I was younger, my parents would drag, drag us to, Drag. to to this event. Uh, and it's not just me and my siblings, it was my cousins too. I'm sure you so, were excited about going there. No, we. you know what is more of a field trip, mm -hmm. I felt like, with all of our cousins. And we would just run around mm -hmm. everywhere and do all the activities for the kids and just eat um, and enjoy some of the show. Because my the parents time, were there for the artistas. Oh, I and was at the there. time, you said the name was a different name? Yeah, so I grew up with Philippine Fiesta. And, I, uh, and then I remember it being changed recently to Fiesta in America. And I didn't know the reasoning behind that um, because I always referred it to. I still kind of sometimes yeah. slip whenever I say Philippine Fiesta. Well, well, as a matter of fact, a lot of people have been asking us about that. Yeah. Uh, what was the story behind that? Mm -hmm. But like all living things, Fiesta in America evolves. It grows. Mm -hmm. uh, we realize that uh, a lot of uh, uh, sponsors and exhibitors want to expand their market beyond uh, the Filipino audience. Also, uh, Nandini and I have been hearing some requests from the Chinese community, mm -hmm. the Latino community, the Korean community, mm -hmm. for, for them to take part. Because mm -hmm. this is a fiesta. Yeah. Alam naman natin ang fiesta is very inclusive, di ba? Ang town fiesta, it's, it's a very welcoming event. Yeah. Kahit na stranger ka, you're welcome. Therefore, we decided to rebrand mm -hmm. the fiesta. What, what year was this? Uh, about four years ago. Mm -hmm. Although it's still rooted and anchored uh, on, you know, on the Filipino community, uh, we gradually expanded it to become a multicultural event, just like any fiesta. It's now a big tent event na lahat ay welcome. Wow, that's, yeah. that's an amazing accomplishment. Usually, other nationalities don't want to be involved in the Filipino event. So you probably are really doing something I'm a fan. Re Amazing. Remember, <laughs> Filipino is a big market. The Filipino market right. is well, very affluent and very big. Right. Well, Philippines in the first place composed of many cultures. Uh -huh. Very true. Yeah. You have Malaysians, you have Koreans now, right. and uh, Indians. And the Chinese and market Spanish. also, of course. So are those your demographics? Yeah. That's oh, well, well uh, the demographics can be explained this way uh, in terms of numbers. About more than 80% of Fiesta in America's audience are still Filipino-Americans yeah. from uh, New York, New Jersey, and five contiguous states in the Northeast. Mm -hmm. But the remaining, the remaining uh, uh, portion, malaki din yun, 20%, uh, there are still thousands, mm -hmm. are uh, Americans, uh, Caucasians, African-Americans, Latinos, uh, other Asians who have either family or professional relationships yeah, with yeah, Filipinos, right, yeah. uh, commercial, trade. Mm -hmm. uh, Meron na nga kami mga Chinese and Latino exhibitors. And of mm. course, mainstream sponsors were interested in the Filipino community. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's and I would like to add something. Uh, some of the business, uh, what do you call it? Servicemen who, uh, who were employed in the Philippines uh, brought their spouses and uh, did them. Filipino servicemen, what do you mean? Um, after, after, after the oh. bases were closed, yeah. di ba? Oh. So they really um, they're coming from Virginia, you know, and San Diego or something. And is there a 
specific activity targeting this community? Not yet, but uh -huh. we, uh, is that uh, part of the plan? We can do something for them. Yeah. Like we have activities for all ages and that's for right. all industries uh, and interests. And that's yeah. how I felt like when I went. My parents were the ones to bring me, and now our roles change. Now it's me bringing my parents. So like me, D, let's go to the. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, let's go to Fiesta this this year. It's on August 13, 14. They asked what me. Is, what is your beautiful. favorite thing that you do when you're there? Honestly, I don't spend enough time with my family, uh -huh. and I feel like that that's the reason for me to bring uh -huh. them out. Yes, that, that's my personal wonderful. I don't know why other people, but I feel like that that's an excuse for me to bring them out. Mm -hmm. Some, uh, something to bond over. I wonder how many people feel the same way, right? I just how think many that they, people feel the they same don't way? know. It, they just don't know about it yet. That's right. Well, I, I think that's what uh, Fiesta offers, is that it's a place to be with family. Exactly. To do right. what you love to do. I mean, you could pop, what, what things can they do at Fiesta? Can they have birthday parties? Can of, they of have... Of course. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, Inibita rin namin ng mga Filipino associations, alumni groups, mm -hmm. uh, faith-based groups, provincial associations, trade groups, na ganapin doon ng kanila mga events. They can hold reunions, alumni association reunions. Oh, really? uh, we, we did that so, for so many years. We invited uh, 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 alumni from several schools. Uh, we created this kind, all logos of the uh, universities. In one advertising. Oh, well, 18 years, August 13th and August 14th at Meadowlands, right? So if, let's right. say your birthday falls within that time. Let's say you'd be turning 18. Maybe you could have a an 18th birthday party. Is Why that not? one of, of the course. choices too? Lahat, lahat talaga ng lahat ng community, lahat ng community members ay invitado dito. For example, kung gusto mo debut. 18th anniversary, 18th anniversary din ng fiesta. Kaya bagay na bagay yung 18 and 18. Yakagin yung mga kamag-anak nyo, doon kayo mag-party. Does it get maingay or magulo? Or no? But tulad ng lahat ng fiesta, it's syempre, always maingay. Ma masaya. It's always maingay. Masaya. Yeah. Yeah. And festive. It's not yes. like oh. ingay, it's not sound. It's about uh, festive uh, musical sound. Do you sell liquor? No, we don't. Unfortunately. Hindi tulad ng fiesta. Wait, is there even San Miguel beer? Uh, a couple of years ago, uh, sponsor namin ng San Miguel beer. Uh, we just uh, promoted their brand, oh, okay. not as a drink, but it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a business, it's, oh, a, okay. it's a company. Okay. Uh, tulad ng ginawa namin sa San Miguel, uh, marami hindi nakakaalam kung saan uh, bibili ng San Miguel. Mm -hmm. uh, we directed them to the retail mm -hmm. outlets. Therefore, oh. kung meron kang business na gustong i-promote, yeah. pwede niyong gamitin ng fiesta to market your products That's para exactly. malaman ng mga tao kung nasaan bibili. That's right. So you uh, renamed it, rebranded it as Fiesta in America to bring in non-Filipino businesses. A, a, more diverse, a more diverse, a more diverse market. There's, there's more to that because mm -hmm. a Fiesta in America is developed as a brand now. Mm -hmm. It's not a trade show, it's not a cultural show. It's, it's almost exactly uh, what you're doing every day. It could be a card, it could be a telecommunication, it mm -hmm. could be other things, it could be food, non-food or something. We would like to expand our market in the future, so we have a long run of our business. We would like to help its industries in and, and everyone as uh, part of our uh, business. Uh, you know, I'm curious, does the government uh, support you in any way? We try. We are very, because you are very trade and industry oriented. We are trying now, and uh, slowly they're uh, noticing us, mm -hmm. but it's very hard to get money from the government, and you have to prove that you're this and that. Mm -hmm. you know? And uh, <coughs> we are now w working with the Department of Trade, mm -hmm. Department of Tourism, yeah. and convince them to participate in yeah. this uh, event. This is a multicultural event, mm -hmm. and if we get all those other cultures, people will travel to the Philippines. Yeah. We we have a campaign mm -hmm. now, Philippines first. If you want to travel, go to the Philippines and... Um, first, second, third time. <laughs> That's tourism. Right. That's yeah, tourism. Right. Yeah. You discover your roots, especially um, <coughs> the second, third generation. Uh -huh. Like Rochelle. We would <laughs> like to bring the Philippines in the United States for two days and enjoy it. That's nice, yeah, yeah. So I do feel like there's a little bit of everything. Can you just share, uh, I know that I experienced different types of parts of the fiesta, but can you share some of the things that people would expect when they come on August 13 or 14? Of course, we, uh, we have a, a, a new uh, partner, a new community partner. Uh -huh. As a matter of fact, they are promoting a uh, franchising forum. Yes. It was uh, August 13 and 14. Uh -huh. <clears throat> uh, a gentleman named Eric Soriano, 
is working with the Asian Journal, our one of our media mm -hmm. sponsors, a, a good friend of ours. Mm -hmm. uh, ipo promote niya yung franchising as a good investment uh, opportunity, opportunity for Filipino Americans here. Kasi maraming franchising opportunities sa Pilipinas. Eh. Yeah. So there's a forum for that? Yes, a oh, workshop, well, it's a forum. it's not just entertainment, it's also educational. Yeah, because some people Very just true. think it's just uh, entertainment. No, people like think it's a a desk, entertainment uh, and business. Correct. Because yeah, there's yeah. the word expo right. there. Yeah, yeah. true. Th that's why we uh, nagpapasalamat kami sa Makilala TV for this opportunity to spread the word around. Mm -hmm. Na hindi lang kami concert. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a like a multicultural bazaar where you yeah. can find export quality <laughs> yeah. products. And uh, it's a showcase mm -hmm. of the uh, global attractions of the Philippine, uh, of, of the uh, natural attractions of the Philippines, for mm -hmm. example. Ifugao rice terraces, no, very few people know that it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kaya isa yun sa mga dapat natin ipaalam sa fiesta. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah. Going and back to the question of ratio. Uh, what can you see at the fiesta? Is fiesta is uh, like a mall, like what you mentioned uh -huh. before. There are many things you can see inside. It's a food festival. Mm -hmm. It's a, a home and uh, uh, well, health and well wellness. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, there are so many pavilions there. You have Latino, Chinese pavilion, and other other cultures. And Jenny's so happy here because she said she said health and wellness coach, wellness. Yeah. and <laughs> she might find a. Uh, place for herself in yeah. Fiesta. Yeah, and then we have the job fair. Anyone who wants to find work. Wow. We, that I didn't know. We we get we, uh, really? we get Mero all of these uh, people who would right. like to hire Filipinos uh -huh. in the, you know, in the Oh, thing. really? It's not only Filipinos, people who would need work. Yeah, yeah. Know, correct. You know. but and then of course the I, I mentioned earlier the food pavilion, you savor That's all my the favorite part. All the uh, Visayan <laughs> uh, cuisine, and like, it's a, cuisine, like it's a culinary Pampanga. tour of the Philippines. It is, yeah, yeah. 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 it is. Then. But I'm, I'm curious about the beginning. How did you, Nanding, and your wife Mila, um, conceptualize something like this? Can you bring it, us back to that time? It's uh, 17 to, years ago. I have to be honest with you. We just said to ourselves, we were going around the country, we are going around the world, and said, let's observe what kind of business we can do to go back and forth to the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said, I think we should have a trade show so we can meet people. We yeah. can meet the people who can help us, who have the money. We don't have, we didn't have the money. We mm -hmm. have the means to get these people together and probably their money can be contributed to the other people, the organizations, the other people who would like to be to have their own concepts about how to do business with the Filipino market. I just wanted to mention that Mila was a marketing uh, professional, right? And Nanjing is the artist. So I, they really blended very well. I'm the production. And yeah. She takes care of the marketing mm -hmm. here in the United States and in the and Philippines. And in Manila also, yeah. yeah. So you... I would like to mention also Laura Garcia, my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. No, uh, and she's helping me that's uh, right. in doing the, the marketing. That's obviously. right. So if there's yeah. one thing that when you look back, that thing you're um, sitting on your porch and drinking your um, favorite drinks, like, oh, I did fiesta. Like a one, one thing that would, um, like a, a good, good thing to say, like what, what, how do I say it? Like, how do you feel? How do you, yeah, how do you feel <laughs> about uh, uh, Fiesta in America as your legacy? Like what, what do you feel like the, in Fiesta? Nothing really. It's like. Uh, Do you even think of it work. as a legacy? No, it's just a work. Uh, we ah. just want to accomplish something. And uh, sometimes we uh, delete and we improve, you know. We don't want this, we want that, you know. We talk to many people. Mm -hmm. This morning, yesterday, it's like. Uh, we have proposals coming yeah. in to us. And I think that's why you've survived this long. Yeah. You know that it's not just. It's not just a trade expo. It's you just always have to build and and improve and talk to people. Or we're, else you're not we're building a brand, yes. a brand for the Philippine market. And if we are successful, we will have a very very good brand to present to the American people. So we have a voice. You know, of course we have the event, mm -hmm. and that that's where we're going to do our our uh, appeals, our plans mm -hmm. for the future. And Are you worried about possible competition? Um, we know that everyone would like to compete with us, and for the past many many years, we, a lot of people competed with us, and we're still standing. Uh -huh. We don't want to compete with them. We want to be with us. Uh -huh. We don't. That's what it takes. Yeah. That's what we did. 
I told them, be with us. And eventually they became a part of us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's, uh, there will be more competition and uh, we, again, we don't want to compete with mm -hmm. them. We just want to make our product better, bigger, and affordable to a lot of people. Yeah, you were about to say something, Len? Well, as something said, any industry is made better by competition. Mm -hmm. uh, ang product na namin ay high quality. So we wanted to uh, expand that brand of uh, a, a, a premium reputation. Mm -hmm. uh, Nabagit mo kanina, Rochelle, yung uh, legacy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nanding and I have a long view of Fiesta in America. Like the town fiestas in the Philippines, we want Fiesta in America to be a tradition. At ang pag sinabi mo naman tradition, hindi yun overnight. Eh. Hindi yun two years, three years. It develops over generations. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Bati, baka pati mga apu apo natin, mga anak ni Rochelle, mga apo niyo, <laughs> ay a-attend din ang fiesta. Who knows, Rochelle? Sure. You. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I, when you say fiesta, there is usually a marching band. Do you have a marching band? Ba, marami kami. Marami. We have the ate-atihan before. I have the ate-atihan. Oh, that's really oh, a fiesta. That's nice. yeah. I don't even know really what that is. It, 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 I'll, I'll Google it later. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you, Nanding and Len. We are um, about to wind down our program. Okay. Thank you for coming down and sharing with our thank viewers you. the unique story of Fiesta in America. It's a different kind of an enterprise, and it takes an enormous kind of dedication and commitment to be able to do something like this year after year. But let me introduce a young talent who should be in Fiesta this year. Yeah. Her name is Justine Ang Fonte, and she will perform a monologue from Raised Pinay. Raised Pinay is a community theater where all the performers are Filipina Americans. Our co-host Rochelle is one of the producers. Let's listen to Justine's spirited narrative about being Raised Pinay. This piece is my story and one of 14 from the show that fundraised money for Roots of Health a reproductive health organization in Puerto Princesa, Palawan, providing health education and health services to women and girls in the Philippines. I was six when I scraped my knee. So in response, my father said to me, Isus, you cannot be Miss America. But Pa, would you ever say that to my kuya? What I could not be because of this scar, not tall or fair-skinned or a colonized memoir. Then when I was seven years old, I was so ashamed of my flat nose. Auntie would say, pinch it like this. Ayon, more Spanish when it grows. When you expose yourself to the sun, the light is bound to change your skin. That light makes you dark, and so you are told, if you can, choose the yang, not the yin. Bakit itim nakaba? Why are you so dark? You're from the United States. That's not the colonial mark. You're really romblo manon. It's like you're from the province, like you work in the rice fields. I've considered Eskinol ever since. There is a congratulations if I dated white, a family social status put on the fast track, had nothing to do with who I was on my own. So how do you value me if I am dating black? He could be smart and handsome, raised Catholic and a catch, but his skin was a shade darker that's why you tell me you don't match. Who were these colonists? What did they do to us? Architects who built inferiority, so we whiten our genus. My skin criticized, my nose stigmatized, yet penis are fetishized, our bodies traumatized. Ashamed of what we aren't, compared to our colonist, raising their worth instead of embracing our darkness. Become architects of our own future, not the ones built from our birth. See the Filipina I really am, decolonize my worth. 
you can't pray this out of me. I'm redefining the word dalaga. Brown, flat-nosed, and empowered. Tell that to the new Manila. We are here to invite all of you to be part of Fiesta in America on August 13 and 14 at the Meadowlands Expo Center in Secaucus, New Jersey. Len is my Vice President. Len? Uh, kamusta po kayo? Lahat kayo ay uh, impitado sa Fiesta in America. Napakalaki po nito. It's the biggest indoor expo of its kind for Filipinos and multicultural consumers. Kung kayo ay may negosyo, pwede kayong mag-market ng produkto nyo sa Fiesta in America dahil up to 14,000 ang pupunta rito. Napakalaki market para sa inyo. So, um, if you are from the Philippines and you have time to to uh, visit the United States of America, make sure it's going to, going to be in August 13 and 14, 14, where you can meet the business people and contacts in the United States to expand your market and services and products. At, at isa pa ho, uh, sa Friday, August 12, pwede kayo umaten ng People's Ball. Ito po ang companion event ng Fiesta in America. Uh, magkikilala niyo ang movers and shakers of the Filipino community plus mga elected officials ng Jersey City, si Cocos at kanilang mga councillors. Napakahalaga po nitong event na ito para sa inyo. August 12, People's Bowl. August 13, 14, Fiesta in America sa si Cocos, New Jersey.